Boom, we're sooner, everybody. You guys know me, I'm Harry James. A double shot of a road trip for the Sooners. Uh, Sooners actually, uh, the Sooner Schooner gets back on the right track in Manhattan against the Wildcats of Kansas State by 20. When's the last time we've seen this? 73 to 53 win over Kansas State in the crazy Manhattan octagon of doom. But the Sooners were then humbled as the Knights lead wire to wire in Orlando, 74 to 63, and win by 11 for UCF. All right, guys, we'll recap both road trips coming up next. 1982 Boomer Sooner. You know what to do. Do not go away. Welcome back to the show, everybody. I think you guys know me. I'm Harry James. All right. The Oklahoma Sooner men, two road trips. We'll start the road trips in the Little Apple, Octagon of Doom, Manhattan, Kansas. As the Sooner Schooner gets back on track in Manhattan against the Kansas State Wildcats and win by 20, 73, uh, 73 to 53 the final in Manhattan. First half highlights for this one. Oh. Oklahoma shot 50.0% from inside the arc, shooting in the first half. 37.5% to match from three-point buckets in the first half. For Kansas State, they were held to just 23.1% shooting from inside the arc and 14.3% shooting for the first half. Second half highlights for Oklahoma. 37.5% shooting from inside the arc in the second half and a big Eggplant, 0 for, 0 for 0 percent from behind the arch, while Kansas State shot 37.0% uh, from inside the arc, but did shoot 14.3 from the three-point bucket mark. For the full game, Oklahoma and Kansas State, Oklahoma shot 42.6% shooting from inside the arc, 21.4% from three, while holding Kansas State to just 30.2% shooting from inside the arc and 14.3% shooting from the three ball. So uh, leaving Kansas State to that low of shooting percentage at just 43 points, that's a lot. But you scored 73. So how did you get so high? Of a point average while they were so low on the point average. Stat Steffers show this. 23 points for team high. Team high six assists. And a team high team high nine rebounds for Oklahoma. The uh with nine. The 23 points went to number 14, Jalen Moore. The six assists went to number 12, Milo Uzian. And the nine rebounds went to back to number 14, Jalen Moore on there. So pretty close to a double-double for Jay Moore. The Sooners then took a plane trip to Orlando, Florida, as the Knights lead wire to wire against Oklahoma in Orlando. 74-63, the final in at UCF. First half highlights for Oklahoma in this one. OU shot 37.5% from inside the arc and 20.0% from behind the arch and three in the first half while UCF shot 40.7% shooting from inside the arc, and from behind the arc, 33.3% from three. Second half highlights, Oklahoma, 36.7% shooting from inside the arc, 36.4% uh, from three, while key UCF did shoot 42.9% shooting from inside the arc, 20.0% from three in the second half. For the full set, of games, Oklahoma shot 37.0% from inside the arc, 31.3% from three, while UCF shot 41.7% from inside the arc, 30.0% from three. 
from three point. Book it. Stat leaders in this one. What about this, guys? 14 points for team high for there. Team high three assists went to Oklahoma. And a team high 11 rebounds went to Oklahoma. We'll start with the 14 points team high. That went to number zero, Latre Darthard. The three dimes or assists, if you will, went to number one, John Hughley the fourth. And the 11 rebounds team high, that went to number 14, Jalen Moore. All right, guys, thanks for watching the recap. You can watch this and all my other videos on YouTube, Boomer Sooner, uh, uh, Harry James Taylor on Facebook. Twitter is X at the Hype Man Harry or on the, uh, yeah, it's on the YouTube, 1982 Boomer Sooner. All right, guys, speaking of Boomer Sooner, I'm out of here. Boomer Sooner, everybody. Peace out.